And, and because praise is a wonder, my brothers and my sisters, I have decided that I'm going to make praise a part of my daily routine. If the truth about the truth be told, and the truth should be told, um, really, when it gets down to it, we don't praise God enough. Well, we spend a lot of time praying uh, if we pray. But if you don't even pray, I'm telling you, you spend even less time praising. Because most times we don't praise until after God has answered a prayer. Uh, and since you aren't praying that much, there is a great likelihood that you're praising even less. Um, but the psalmist tells us that you ought to carve out a niche in your everyday life and, and make praise a priority. He says it this way in Psalm 72, verse 15. Psalm 72, verse 15. He says, daily he shall be praised. Meaning that it ought to be on my itinerary. It ought to be on my schedule every day to give him praise. Uh, I ought to make up in my mind that just like I plan to brush my teeth and I plan to wash my face and I lay out the clothes for that day's duties and I make my lunch before I went to bed, somewhere I ought to carve out a niche of time that says that from this time to this time, I'm going to give him praise. Yeah, and just like you take an hour lunch break, you ought to say, for this hour, I'm going to give some time to God. And just like you take a 15-minute coffee break or bathroom break, you ought to say, for 15 minutes at this time, I'm going to give him praise. And just like you've carved out time that I'm going to spend two hours watching my favorite nighttime soap opera, you ought to say, for these next two hours, I'm going to spend some time giving God praise. But we have made on our calendars dates for everything, but no time to give God praise. Uh, but I'm telling you in here that if you really want to see something happen in your life, you ought to schedule praise time. Uh, and every now and then, you ought to schedule a praise break uh, and not have to wait for something to happen because then your praise will be nothing more than what you use to pimp God. But real authentic praise ought not be what you do just to make God move. You ought to give God praise because you were created a praise for his glory. Um, praiser is your name. It's in your DNA to be a praiser. And the reason why many of us don't praise any more than we do is because we don't know who we are in him. If you ever knew who you were in him and just had a flashback of what he delivered you from, uh, it would change how you dealt with praise, you know. Some of you only will praise if some money comes in. Money gets the biggest shout whenever you're talking about praise. And ain't nobody shouting just to be alive. Uh, because we could throw hundreds all over your casket and it wouldn't wake you up. We could place gold bullion inside of your casket and it would not wake you up. We could put Fort Knox where all of the gold is. We could build a mausoleum for you in Fort Knox. And all of that gold would not get you back up again. But it, yes sir, if you woke up this morning, yeah, and you were still able to urinate by yourself, if you woke up this morning and you were able to still bat your eyes, if you woke up this morning and you were still able to tie your own shoes, able to pull your own drawers up by yourself, not hooked up to a respirator, you ought to give God praise. I don't care if you don't have no money in your pocket. I don't care if things ain't right in your relationship. I don't care if you are unemployed. All of that stuff is secondary uh, if you aren't alive. I wish you would tell somebody, I'll praise them just because I'm still alive. My God, you didn't pray before you went to bed last night. You didn't thank him for what he kept you from last week. You didn't tell him I appreciate you that you go to a job and they pay you as trifling as you are when you're working. And then you think that you don't owe him a praise. Tell somebody near you, I owe God a praise. 